In this video, I'm going to be looking at the email settings. So if I go to the settings tab, general settings, and then scroll all the way to the bottom to email settings. When a new Xero account is set up, Xero defaults to using the email address of whoever's logged in that particular company, but I can change that. I'm going to add accounts at demo.com because this is the demo accounts email address and I'm going to add that. Xero then sends an email to that address for approval. Once it's been approved, it's available to, be, available to be used as the default, no matter who's logged into this particular e Xero account. And then we have our templates. So Xero has already created seven standard templates, one for each invoice type, and it's created one customized invoice type as well. You can amend any of these templates. So you can change any of the wording, take away any of the placeholders, insert other placeholders and make the template look exactly as you please. And then you can save it. Or you can create your own email templates from scratch. There are seven types and you can create up to 10 templates for each type. So you select a type, give it a name and then create your template and then you can choose whether to use that as a default or not.